Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be up against Hero Destroyer Cesari, uh, Cesari and uh, Hero Challenger, and I'm going to be with Shut Up 05, um, Rinks Sopra. Now, this is a battle of the YouTube, uh, top YouTube streamers, so yes, better check this out. Um, it was it happened live and of course if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe and smash the like button and ring the bell icon to be notified of any content so the first map is a random map okay let's go Okay, so I'll be the yellow player, Shut Up will be the red player, and Drinks will be the green player. Now obviously we're going to start things off as this is a very, very intense fight as it is among the top players. And as you already know, this is a rank 23 sandbox where everything is fully maxed out and everyone has an equal account. Alright, so yeah, no that, I mean, no power scaling here. Everything is maxed out according to the rank 23, even the skill rank and hero classes. Okay, and so we're going. I'm going to spam the Kaimans, as you guys can see, and then of course that Wasp. Um, same thing goes to Shut Up right here, and Rinx is trying to support him. Okay, and now we're going to outnumber those Delta and Micro on that Kaiman, keeping it alive course let's see how they are faring right here Ooh, beholder around here two wasp beholder scan has been activated and uh there is simply too much kaimans here against those uh uh deltas now i've actually managed to successfully secure this location or this uh, super container okay purple purple beholder around there good formation i've already secured here now, I already advised Rinx to go on Bomber since, you know, uh, how this goes. Confed, we'll just go Space Strike. Okay, here we go. I'm going to have to thread lightly here as to what check what they have. And I take it that my partner is also doing the same thing right here. Okay, two of them right here. We the Dragonfly and two Wasp and Kaimans. As for me, it's just going to be like the Kaimans right here. And then there's this uh, Wasp. Let's fast forward by a bit. I'm gonna go check what they have. Attacking the shipyard right around here, causing a little bit of a problem, forcing the player to add one more torpedo platform. There's like one service right here from the purple player. Yep, yep, yep. Lynx is trying to transition slowly into that salamander with the level two prototype facility. Okay. I'm going to have to need to clear out my command points by sacrificing those uh, Kaimans. And there goes the Seraphim from the purple player. And they're still at it trying to drag down this shipyard right here. Now this Cerberus is actually insane. Just look at the amount of damage that Cerberus is doing to a max out special vehicle factory. One Hawk has popped out here. Okay. And so... That Seraphim is headed towards my base. Still, that Cerberus managed to destroy that special vehicle factory. Still, one Hawk is here to defend against it. Both of them are going for that Salamander. And I myself is doing the same exact thing. Okay now. And uh, I'm anticipating the Seraphim to arrive right around here. And once my Salamander comes out, down goes that Seraphim. Okay. Moving over to this side of the map, there's like an assault right here. Nothing really crazy here. A Seraphim taking out an alligator with, well, crappy anti-air. Okay. Okay. That server has moved over to my base and uh, saw that I'm already upgrading HQ level 4. Both the Salamander of Rinks and my Salamander got rid of that Cerberus once and for all. A good spread here for a proper view of the map from Shot Up very very nice okay two hawks here from rinks he uh, that server has actually managed to destroy two special vehicle factories by the way oh okay well that is absolutely weird the passive of the beholder 
has been uh, triggered by that Kaiman. Okay, nothing really crazy here so far. It's just that two Salamanders are here. Okay, and uh, one Vertex. Hawk here from uh, Rinx. Okay, let's see what's going to happen here. Okay, I moved my Salamander right around here. And there's like a Typhoon right here to gain high ground view of this small cliff. And so I'm going to have to retreat. Okay, saw that this guy going HQ level 4. Okay, those Vertex are like trying to get rid of my Salamander, which is obviously the right thing to do. Destroy the Typhoon for free. And then scout with the Kaiman from Shut Up, positioning his uh, alligators here. Okay, trying to set up that um, fishnet right there. Okay, I'm going to have to traverse the uh, ocean or go in the ocean. And uh, this will be like similar to that of Barracuda Stealth Mode. Okay. Very nice concave around there. Limiting the uh, movement of the blue player. Super container appearing right here once again. Additional shipyard here on my end. Okay. Level 4 HQ. Going Leviathan. Prototype facility. Second Avia factory is here. Okay now. <clears throat> oh. Uh -huh. That Seraphine will not really do much against that many alligator, although it can chip away one or two alligators at a time due to the formation. There's like one salamander around here, which poses a big threat out of that Seraphine. Okay. And so I'm going to go for full navy here with three shipyards and the prototype facility level three. Okay. Obviously, uh, hero challenger or, um, what do you call it? Tenderness. <laughs> Is actually using a gold defense boost. Yeah, gold defense boost. That's why those alligators were able to outrange those Vikings. Okay, managed to grab a hold of this container. Super container appearing right here. Shot off is gonna hit, go ahead and take it. Um, oh, sh uh, construction yard right around there as well. I think she's trying to do a multiple things at the same time. Vikings from the Sea uh, player or Caesar. Okay, Rocket Tower doing their thing, being Rocket Towers, and there you go. Salamander trying to be annoying here as to harass those Vikings. Yay! Okay, just uh, causing a little bit of damage right there will be really, really good. However, with the presence of those Vertex, which actually been destroyed, let's see how many Vertex will fall. Okay, two Vertex will fall. However, they actually dealt damage to my hero, but that still can be repaired. Okay, that Salamander is poking slightly on that Viking right around there. One torpedo platform will take out. Boom! Ooh, causing heavy damage out of that. And then that Salamander will have to retreat. However, another Salamander from Rinx is here. Okay, another uh, Salamander with a lethal burn. Boom! Erased. Okay, and then those Hawks to follow up, successfully picking up two Seraphims and a Viking for two. All right here, shot up with a very good formation here. However, with the presence of that Solaris, it's actually a different thing. Meanwhile, on my end, I went straight to HQ5 to get as many command points as I can, maximizing the units that I am able to produce. Okay, here goes, and that Seraphim or Solaris will drive out the Salamanders. And uh, here goes a small engagement right here. Very good formation from Shut Up. Very, very good formation, as you guys can see right here. Boom. Okay, here on my end, those Vikings, after taking a beating out of my Salamander, will be taking some damage again from my uh, Alligatora. There you go, Alligatora. Okay, I'm, I'm now gonna have to chase after them while not they're not facing my alligators. Okay, the harassment did not, did not stop here. Tenderness is still trying to defend against that um, those salamander alligator harassment. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to have to retreat for a moment here. Rinks with the avia support. That uh, that Solaris is actually trying to be a pain. And, ooh, come on, destroy it. 
Nice. Okay, and so I'm going to have to retreat using a scouting boost. All right, going back over here with the main action. That Solaris is actually took quite a beating there with the uh, Wasp Acid Strike. And again, another... Oh, boom! A huge chunk of HP has just been demolished right there. Oh! That Solaris lived to see another day with the exchange of the Salamanders. Help or the Salamander itself. Okay. And then there's that Seraphim who's been badly bruised up. Two Leviathans from Rinks and Shut Up. And me and Caesar are just laying out here. Just chilling. And I have four shipyards right around here. And I added more supply centers here on my end. To, of course, get that supply income pumping out those units. Then there you go. He's going to have to run away again. Just causing a little bit of a steer here with the Wasp Acid Strike. And followed up with a nuclear... That's severely damaging that torpedo platform. And down goes uh, that torpedo platform there. That Seraphine will go up down as the Leviathan is protected with the anti-air of those Alligator. Ooh, nice hit there with that Solaris skill. Okay, Leviathan from Rinks is also trying to uh, be annoying here. And my Salamander is here, took out that Solaris. And also helped out taking out that shipyard. However, that Leviathan will surely be destroyed as a pack of Vertex are munching over it. Shot up with a proper control here with the Leviathan. Trying to retreat after causing a huge chunk of damage out of that production. Buildings like the shipyard and so on. Those Hawks are actually late. And then there was this. Also, a scout revealed that this guy, the purple player, a Monkey King is going for that space strike there you go and he is gonna have to try and uh, defend that with the vertex that he has managed to successfully destroy that space strike or space system okay here tenderness is trying to somewhat position these alligators he has a lot of vikings here from tenderness however that leviathan can still outrange the hell out of those uh those naval platforms my salamander is going back here and i also have my um fleet right here okay action going on here and we're just down to the positioning phase we're just cramming it down making the world of those confederation players um as small as possible as we build a net that can harass them each time Okay, super container down for the taking from the resistance players. Okay, we fast forward a bit here. Okay, army being built up there by the alligators. Ooh, a ton of, uh, well, <laughs> platform viking Poseidon shenanigans there. Scout, okay, going or transitioning to albatross here as rinks. Okay, another naval platform. That factory will go down thanks to the Salamander and the Leviathan. Okay, now he can't really just position himself in a diagonal line against what Shut Up has. As of course, there are my units and also Rings Alligators right here as well to flank him from the side. Okay, now and I have my Salamander around here as I initially planned to attack with on land. Okay, there goes so another space system. Of course, that's what this guy is all about. Space system, confed gameplay, camp, and then space. Very, very lively gameplay. Okay, here we go. Ooh man, we got like a look at those six uh Poseidons and a chunk of Vikings behind a platform. Typical confed camp. Oh man. Alright, we see here four hawks here from Rinks trying to somewhat attack. And I'm gonna go on and head on for the attack right here. While those uh, platforms or those units that he has are outside the range of the platforms. Acid Strike has been dropped. Nuclear will now be dropped right here. And we see here going on an engagement from me and Tenderness as well as well as the CM player. Attacking, 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 just shredding down or minimizing those units or toning down the number of those Vikings. Meanwhile, 
as uh, Sharap saw those uh, some of the Vikings from the blue were actually firing at my alligators he actually went in for the fight himself and now he is going to have to secure himself this shore taking out the advantage of those defenses and there goes the albatross sneaking past all those air defenses and heading straight to that space system with no cancel absolutely brilliant there you go that solaris will be destroyed going over to shut up right here his army has been obliterated and there goes those vertex who are trying to chase after that annoying um albatross who actually bombed the space system without even a cancel and there goes one leviathan or a leviathan from ranks actually rained a nuke and uh, deleting that platform from uh tenderness and here we go now i got like four shipyards right here producing those alligators non-stop and we see here leviathan has been destroyed more alligators from links and then of course shot up with more alligators from himself and uh my alligators right here were very smart thanks to the pathfinding. finding bad finding him boy as usual okay i managed uh, i managed to build up the uh army right here although it's not really that much i needed more but i was actually impatient so this was on me man this was on me okay how many uh, um vertex will be destroyed here one two okay and then the action is still going on right here the therapy managed to take out that annoying salamander there you go okay that's actually a good vertex spread okay i'm gonna have to position my alligators at the bottom side of the map to of course help my leviathan with the anti-air support okay i actually scouted or pinged again to scout this location as there will be a space system from that purple oh ooh, solid um Solaris laser right there. Seraphim right here. Oh no. Okay, this is not looking good here as the Seahan player actually is jocking up or flanking both Lynx and Shut Up's uh, alligators around here. And they're going to have to retreat. Okay. Meanwhile, on my end, I'm positioning my army around here. And yeah, I'm just planning to, you know, give the illusion that I'm here and then I'll move my army right around here in just a few moments. Those Vertex are still trying to get rid of my uh, Leviathan as they saw it. However, I got like plenty of alligators at the top and then two porcupines here to support it for anti-ear. Okay, level 5 HQ now. I'm asking those Albatross count and here I am. I'm just spamming porcupine from one special vehicle factory. Super container appearing right here. Now with a better um formation of those alligators. Shut up also doing the same goddamn thing. <laughs> okay, we see here a scout from uh Rinx. So another space strike or space system cooking right there, man. We won't let him cook. Okay, and so I'm gonna have to use a naval scout boost to move my alligators away from this side and onto shut up and drinks his uh, location and here we go those three albatross are making their way into bombing that space strike let's see oh man nasty let's see oh two bombs has been dropped however another three albatross boom nicely done and then down goes those albatrosses there you go okay now as you guys can see i got like my alligator around here my salamander also my leviathan and yeah my wasp is already here as well tenderness is just spamming no naval platforms around here along with the seraphim and trying to rebuild that um shipyard from that side gaining or he's actually trying to you know rebuild his uh, naval um naval prowess right there okay positioning my army around here okay
Okay, now I got like plenty of alligators, man. Worth 150 or 140 plus command points right around here. As you guys can see, this this side of the map is teeming with alligators waiting to munch down on their prey. And now those Vikings we see here, they're out of formation and some of them are exposed and this is the perfect opportunity to launch the attack as of course those alligators or those Vikings were just caught off guard and were out of formation. Now I don't really care what happens here, that wasp will be destroyed however severely or throwing the acid strike on those and then the nuclear will follow. Let's see what's gonna happen here, boom, nuclear drop. Man, those alligators, so many alligators here from my side. Okay, now. And kablooey. All three of my heroes worked out their skill too. Of course, they demolished those naval platforms. And there you go. Not much like, not much tenderness can do at this point. And here we go. Siam player with only the uh, Poseidons around here. I'm not exactly sure what this guy is doing to be honest with you. He has plenty of resources to build up the number of those Vikings and Poseidons. Yeah. My Leviathan has been destroyed. And again. Boom. Okay. And now on to attacking the CM player with the remaining alligators that I have here on my side. Alligators from Shut Up and on my end are now teaming towards or streaming across the map headed towards this area oh man okay so I'm gonna have to retreat for a moment here as I do not want to lose my alligators this will give them time to somewhat rebuild those um, those area with the platform and shenanigans which what I'm trying to avoid and now my salamander trying to harass right here with that uh, missile yay and it's gone Kablooey. Okay, they actually made sure that it's dead. <laughs> okay, another Solaris within the range of those alligators under the wasp, uh, wasp acid strike will fall badly, microed. And yeah. Oh no. That wasp man. Oh no. All of a sudden, this naval platform right here is outnumbered, and I place some of my alligators right around here to keep this guy. From building anything on the ocean and those uh, albatross will now have uh, better coverage or more surface area to attack as of course there is less anti-air right around now and oh boom destroyed a little bit of a little bit of alligators right there and I'm so happy that it was not the buildings that they targeted it was the alligators Basically nothing they can do to stop this at this point with two Vikings heroes Seraphim Solaris is not gonna be enough to take this down and we're just going to simply reinforce it Until we actually manage to win and let's see what's going on. Oh <laughs> Nuclear right here from ranks is not actually doing uh, Joking around here. He means business and again, my alligators managed to take out that HQ from Tenderness and this guy trying to uh, desperately build that naval platform, which is not allowed. <clears throat> okay, and at this point, I think it's going to be clear as day as to who will win this battle. Only me alligators here are left and uh, just now shut up with a complete transition to aviation with four avia factories right around there. Uh, you need HQ5, bro, to get, like, 4 Avia Factory level 2. Yep, yep, yep. And so, Tenderness trying to rebuild that HQ desperately. And he has no space to build it anywhere else. As, of course, Monkey King is right around here. And here we go with the maxed out rank 23 Nuclear. Okay, maxed out rank 23 nuclear against maxed out rank 23 confa buildings. Yes, let's see. Destroyed an airfield and the space system. No power plant, no supply centers, no construction yard, X facility still stands. Yeah, rank 23 duke. Max out. 
Okay. And I think that's gonna be it, man. I mean, there's no way in hell that this will be still one. Alright, well, again, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming out of my channel. Part 2 is coming out next video. Have a great day. Bye!